Hi, let's start our video about road markings. In the UK, there are four main road markings. The first type is across the carriageway, and the second type is along the carriageway. Uh, the third type is along the edge of the carriageway, and the fourth type is on the curb or the edge of the carriageway. There are some other road markings as well we will talk about in this series. So stay tuned and let's discuss them one by one in details. The first road mark you will see a white line across the road. It will appear alongside traffic lights or in some cases in an area of a police control. It's important to stop before the line if directed to by a police or by traffic lights. Of course you have to remember to stop before rolling into the cycle box at the advanced stop line. If there is one of course, but they look like this as you see in the picture. So make sure you stop before rolling into the cycle box. In the second picture, you will see a thicker white line and it's less common than the one found alongside traffic lights. It appears next to stop signs as well. The marking is a reminder to stop and give way to traffic before moving ahead when it's safe to do so. You can expect to find this particular white line at junctions without traffic lights. In the third picture, we see these white double broken lines tell motorists to give way to traffic on major roads. Drivers won't always have to stop at this line, but must keep an eye out for traffic crossing their path to do so. The common road markings can appear at mini roundabouts and junctions with major roads. In this picture we see broken white line and it's a reminder to give way to traffic from the right at roundabouts. You can expect to find these at larger roundabouts. In this picture you see a chunkier or broken line indicates that you must give way to traffic from the right at many roundabouts of course. These smaller junctions are common on local roads. Edge lines. They are white in colour and appear on the left side of the road. The lines are sometimes ripped to alert drivers they are straying off the road and known as raised profile edge lines. They mark the edge of the carriageway and act as a useful guide to maintain a safe literal position on the road. You can expect to find these in areas prone to fog and mist, at sudden changes of road width and on unlit stretches of road. Centre lines are white and appear broken in the middle of the road. They separate opposing flows of traffic and can vary in length and gap size. The gap size between the lines depending on the speed limit. These are probably the most common markings you will encounter when driving. The hazard warning lines are similar in appearance to centre lines with one key difference. The painted sections are longer in length than the broken unpainted stretches. They only appear when a hazard is not immediately obvious. Look out for them when approaching junctions or a central refugee area. Double white lines can appear in a number of ways. Where the line nearest to you is broken, or the line nearest to you is solid, and the third case is where both lines are solid. The double white line where the nearest line is broken says that you may cross the line to overtake if it's safe to do so. You can complete the manoeuvre before reaching the solid white line on your side. The double white line where the nearest line is solid says that you must not cross the, the stra or straddle these lines unless it's safe to do so. You need to enter adjoining premises or 
a side road. The third case, you may cross the line if necessary, providing the road is clear to pass a stationary vehicle or overtake a paddle cycle, horse or road maintenance vehicle if they are traveling at 10 miles per hour or less. These are used to prohibit drivers from traveling in an area of the road used by the opposing flow of traffic. Generally, where overtaking visibility is restricted, you must not stop on roads marked with double white lines. Thank you for watching. This was the end of part one. Let's go to part two.